live here with some prison architects. Let me just change some settings real quick. Options, audio. What is this? And today we are going to be starting a brand new prison. Brand new prison today. Let me just make the tweet about us being live. Ay, 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 ay. Okay. Apparently it says no. No, says the man. Alright. Anyway. Prison architect. We're going to do a female prison today because, well, I've never done a female prison before. I haven't played prison architect since the update that added female prisoners dropped. So, we're going to play female prisoner today. Let's choose a different warden. We have the warden, who's just the warden, doesn't really have any special bonuses. The lobbyist has friends in high places and makes sure the more easily controlled prisoners end up coming his way. Has the likelihood of prisoners received who are volatile, lethal, violent, lethal, volatile, deadly, or fighters. Ruthless and terrifying, Rita has a reputation for running her facilities through judicial application. I can't speak. Of fear. Rumors of her carrying a whip may be exaggerated. Halves likelihood of prisoners being stoical or fearless prisoners are suppressed twice as quickly. <sighs> huh. J.W. Periwinkle. Jail Warden Periwinkle. Huh. Warden Periwinkle says he was a sapper in a war. He never says which war specifically, but he certainly knows everything about digging tunnels. Guard dogs have 80% chance of fully uncovering any tunnels. The pacifier has an unusual talent for being able to calm even the most violent individuals. Even being in the same room as him is enough to make people docile and complicit, or compliant. Reduces the overall temperature of your prison, making your inmates less likely to cause trouble. Sapara Akinova. Sapara Akinova has a spotless reputation and a squeaky clean record. But behind the scenes, shady details and under the table offerings are nothing uncommon for her. Get a small cut of the resale value of contraband, and Prisoners found with contraband will be fined directly from their savings. So I don't want to go with him or Rita or Pacifier. Just because I feel like that would add too much and make things a little too easy. So let's go for either Periwinkle or Acnova. I think a little extra money would be nice. Let's go her. Generate a small. It's fine because we can always just buy more. Yes, 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 yes. Fog of War, yes. Generate Forest, yes. Generate Lakes. Hmm. Buildings. Sure. Generate Buildings, that'll be fun. Gangs, sure. Events, sure. Weather and Temperature, sure. We won't play with Unlimited Funds just yet. Alright, let's go ahead and play. So we're going to do a female prison with our female jail warden. And um, let's just jump right in. So right off the bat, we don't have any randomly generated buildings. Now things are going to take me a little time to get used to again, because like I said, I haven't played since the update. So... Things are going to be a little wonky. 
Alright, so it's 10 degrees Celsius or 51 degrees Fahrenheit, that's fine. And of course, right off the bat, we're just going to do some quick planning. We're going to need a holding cell. A nursery. Prisoners with babies. What the fuck? Family cell. Hmm. Okay. We're going to need a holding cell, which is 5x5 five five with a toilet and a bench. So I guess we can just throw a quick holding cell. Let's throw the holding cell up north. Ah, no, I usually put my utilities up north. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Let's just cram it right in the beginning. Why not? So it needs to be 5x5 five five minimum. Like that. Now, I am going to eventually probably turn this into the... Oh, where's the... Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Reception. So actually, let's make this a little bigger, because I'm going to turn this into a reception eventually. So we'll make it... A little bit bigger. Sure, we'll make it big, because eventually this is going to be a reception area, and we're going to... I don't need to be that big, though. Eh. Six... 6 by 14, that'll suffice. That'll be fine. We'll make this the reception area eventually, but for now, of course, it's going to be the holding cells. Let's go ahead and queue that up. Object, we're going to throw down jail door. There's a freaking tree in the way. Pop ourselves up to 10 workers just because I will let them get this done before I queue up anything else just because this is going to be important let's get this Ah yes, you require an entrance, which I couldn't put down because this stupid freaking tree was in my way. Alright, now that that's in, we're gonna want a lot of this stuff. Uh, minimum security is for pansies. Oh, well. I guess we'll just take all the minimum security that we can take then. Oh well. Okay. So we're going to want eight cells. I suppose we could just block it out for ten. Let's throw that down for now. So we'll just do... How big are cells again? Cells are two by three. Right. So cells need to be... That's too small, we need to do one more. Does that seem right? There we go, that's better. Usually I make myself 3x3 three three just to give them a little more room. There we go. Technically these are oversized, but... I just feel like, in general, it kind of helps. I mean, first of all, it just looks better, right? And then second of all, giving them a little extra room isn't the worst thing in the world. Because 
it'll kind of prevent them from being dicks as much as they normally would be inclined to. Whoops. Because their living quarters are a little bit nicer, a little bit more spacious. Which is nice, of course. How many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bingo! So that's ten cells right there. And then if we just block the rest of this out, we can make this like a kitchen and a shower and. Oops, fuck that up. Fucked that up mighty fine. <sighs> ay, ay, ay. How big does the kitchen and canteen need to be? Kitchen and canteen, it doesn't say. So from this. Yeah, we could fit 20 cells in here, which is nice. Let me get these 20 cells going. That'll be a first, like, block of cells. And then at the end, we can add a kitchen cantina for these 20 people. zone which means we have 18 which means 8 for the kitchen 9 for the cantina I don't think we need 8 for the kitchen 8 by 9 by 11 9 by 6 that'll be fine actually that should be okay of course, they're gonna want to shower and stuff as well, but you know, details, details. All right, so first, let's just go ahead and block out. Uh, foundation. We're gonna block out. How much is this gonna cost? Probably a lot. Thirteen thousand dollars. Oh my goodness. But we're going to block that out for now. Guess so we're going to want power, which will stick up here. And we'll stick the water pump here. Water boiler. Hmm. Install the door, damn it. So, this is going to need a jail door. And I suppose we actually should probably stick a jail door here. Yeah, so let's go ahead and demolish this wall. Stick a jail door there. And holding cell is going to need... Toilet and bench. Then there. And ba -da -da -da. And we're of course never going to use this holding cell ever because we're never going to have more prisoners than we have cells because we control prisoner intake. So really, there's no reason you should ever have more prisoners than you have cells. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these cells queued up. Let's just do the top 10 for now. 
We don't need the bottom two just yet. Or the bottom ten. Because that's just going to cost us a lot of money that we don't have at the moment. Because we have, like, zero income. And we'll go ahead and queue up this wall. And that wall there. Alright. Bingo, bongo, bingo. Capacitor. Just build some capacitors now. Because we're going to need them. There we go. Bada bing. So as you can see, we don't have a ton of money kicking around right off the bat. There are no canteens. That's fine, I don't care. I do not care that there is no contents. There will be soon, that's all that matters. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the toilets and beds going for the cells. Bada bing, bada bing, bada bing, bada bing. Bada bing, bada bing, bada bing, bada bing. Bed. Things are not cheap. Two thousand dollars in beds here. Now we're gonna have to get these large pipes going here as well. Should cover it. Although, actually, we might need to extend it to reach the kitchen, so let's actually go ahead and extend it now. Just because the water's gonna have to reach the kitchen, so. Before we put in the sinks. So these are going to be cells, and they all need jail doors, right, just regular old jail, oh shit, frick, did it again, damn it. Canteen here, kitchen here. Let's put a regular door there, and I'll put two staff doors here and here. This is gonna need a serving table. Oops. Perfect. Benches and tables. Okay, bench, 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 bench. We're going to need some guards soon because we are going to have the prisoners here, so. Eight prisoners will get two guards. 
Don't need a ton of guards right now. And in kitchen, we need cooker, fridge, and sink. That's actually probably way overkill. We need like three and we get some fridges, fridges, and then sink. That should be fun. That should be sufficient. I'll grab two chefs. The prisoners are here. We don't have reception just yet. We do have the random holding cell. So once we build a shower, yard, and a kitchen, we'll change this holding cell over to reception. Speaking of, we can probably just make... we will just make, um... A yard now. Nice big yard to play with multiple we'll probably put another cell block down here so multiple cell blocks can use this yard here which would be nice that, make a yard, and I will need a shower. Ah, uh, yes, the kitchen needs that, and uh, the sink needs that. Okay, and then we're going to need a shower. I suppose you could build a shower off of here since this is already in use, right? That's a big shower though, we don't need that big of a shower. So we could also build it off of the reception area. Give them a nice little shower thing here. Hmm. If we make it this, we could split it in half. Make like shower and then maybe common room, something like that. That seems fine to me. We'll go ahead and we'll just block this out. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go here, really. Although we're gonna leave a little space for the yard here. Let me 
door. Need some doors here. A little wonky that they're gonna have to walk. Oh. Oops. Through the canteen to get here, but whatever. I am not worried about it. Let's knock down. I'm gonna demolish this wall and we'll give them a door. A regular door. Some concrete walls. Bring in electricity. Extend the water pipes because you're going to need it. As you can see, we're running out of money rather quickly here. We're going to get $10,000 once we finish the shower, though, so that'll be fine. We need shower heads. Ding, 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 ding. the doors so things don't spill out everywhere. Alright, so we just got 10k from that, so that's fantastic. Oh, stretch. What else do we need? Hmm. I have no idea. What do we need? Right now, we're pretty okay. Let's just cancel this for now. And we should probably build some offices, actually. So let's go ahead and let's plan out some offices. Now, offices need to be 4x4. Four four. Oh, wait, yes. Let's change this holding cell over, actually, now that I think about it. Just before I forget, this is going to be reception. Does not need this toilet, so we can dismantle that. Nor does it need this bench. It needs office desk, table, and chair. So, office desk. Distributing the uniforms, not certain table, just a regular table is good enough. This is gonna be so bad for OCD, but whatever. Whatever. And reception. Alright, so that's done. So now we're gonna need to hook up these shower heads. Let's do that. Get right on that. Team. 
So what is their regime right now? Uh, we can't look because we need a warden. Right, so offices need to be... Offices, 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 offices. Where the hell are the offices? Four by four. Seem to be four by four, seem to be this big. So let's just give them a the buffer and then oh it's raining. So we need that and how many offices are we gonna need? We need one for the warden, one for the chief, one for the foreman, psychologist, I got this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sniper. Damn. That's legit, bro. Alright. So we need six offices, so we can just do. How big is this? Six by six. Another six by six. No, this is gonna be too big, right? Six by six. Six by six. Six by six. And nah. And nah. Boom. Alright. Perfect. We'll give them a brick building just because they deserve a little bit of the fancies in life. And we'll, we'll give them all staff doors. It should be said that we should probably give these guys here in the cantina some something to do. We'll give them some TVs and some phone booths so they can call their families and stuff. Just so they can get a bit of entertainment if they would finish eating early or something like that. Okay, cool. So, brick walls. Get those going. Get the offices up and running. False imprisonment. What? Sentenced to nine years for... What? Murder, I wrote Fletch. So she was sentenced for false imprisonment? That doesn't make any sense. How the hell do you get sentenced for false imprisonment? That just inherently makes zero sense, but I guess we'll roll with it. Sure. Let's go with that. So we need office desk, filing cabinet, and chairs. Office desk. 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 Desk, 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 no, fuck. Um, chair for the desk. And we need a filing cabinet, so we'll just get... That's a phone booth. You know, Rob, really not decorating yourself in glory right now. Ay ay ay. Alright, so we have offices. Sweet. So let's go ahead and hire the warden. And in bureaucracy, we're going to want finance, um, psychology, 
health. Prison policy. And then we'll grab these two. Education, legal, and education and legal can come later. Right, so this regime sucks. So they can sleep from 10 to 6, so it's 8 hours. Then they'll get up, they'll lock up for an hour for shit so they can use the restroom and stuff. Then shower. Hmm, actually, no. That's what they're gonna do. They're gonna lock up for an hour. Yeah, they need to eat. Then they'll eat. Then they'll get some free time. Then some yard time. A block work for now, even though they're not going to have any work. So sleep for eight hours. Lock up, shower, eat from 10 to 11, then free time, yard, work, eat, sleep. That's fine. Hey, the real plugger 48, how's it going? What is up, my friend? We are playing some prison architect today. We are doing an all female prison right now because I have never played with an all-female prison. Um, just appreciating the new update. I haven't played since they updated everything to include like weather and female prisoners and all that other fun stuff. So um, We just got started right now. We have the capacity for 10 prisoners and we're eventually going to have the capacity for 16, or not uh, 10, uh, 16, 20, once we build these other cells here. But yeah, you haven't really missed a whole lot. We just got started, so... What is the ups, my friend? Right now, we're sleeping. So we're going to finance soon. Get an accountant soon. All that sounds like fantastic, fantastic news to me. I should build a fence around the compound, but I just don't have the money for it right now. And I want to use the money to develop the pr actual prison instead of just building a fence right now. Let's just not go full Donald Trump just yet. <laughs> Let's build a wall. We need to build a wall. We don't need to build a wall. Not yet, anyway. We'll build a wall eventually. We'll, we'll Donald Trump it eventually. Um, Accountant. Yes, yes, yes. Let me place the accountant. Okay. Go. Just grab that office over there. That'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, we don't have anything else right now. We should get maintenance soon. The prison is getting pretty dirty and disgusting. I mean, that's just gross, bro. Grody. Alright. So, hmm. I think what I want to do is I want to fence the outside of the prison right now. Because that'll just make it a lot easier for us to prevent. from escaping because like right now if they just walked out this door if they got out because a guard opened it up or something to go to the yard they can just waltz right out of the prison so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fence off perimeter walls a lot more expensive and we don't have the money right now so just fence out the outside of the prison um, deliveries and such yes we're gonna need to keep that open as usual, we'll do our little, like, airlock technique for the deliveries and garbage and what have you. But that should be good. So right now, after they 
finish that, the prison will be completely enclosed. Quick, make the meals the prisoner's gonna eat soon. Okay, they're fine. The prisoner's gonna be, have plenty of plenty of food. And we're gonna want to airlock this, so we'll just do our little one, two, one, two objects. Jail door. Tree. Damn you. Get rid of this tree. Get rid of that tree, too. Just because it's ugly and it's in my way. I don't like it. But yeah, basically what this is just going to allow us to do is we could just station a guard in here. And once we station a guard in there, once we get that all going for deployment, then we will be able to basically, uh, what's it called? We'll basically just be able to keep that door available to be opened at all times. And that being the case, it'll make things a lot smoother. So we're actually going to go ahead where is garbage? We're gonna make this a lot bigger. And we'll make deliveries bigger as well. Okay, 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 okay. Research is going well. Finance is gonna be done sort of soon. Right, so now that we have maintenance, let's go ahead and hire... Can we not hire janitors? Require cleaning. Where's cleaning? Damn it. Okay. Right, so... Hmm. Prison cleaning, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Grants. Sublock A, raise prisoner capacity to 15. That'll be easy enough. Medical wards, not going to be done for a little bit. I'm not cleaning, groundskeeping. Hmm. We're going to get prison maintenance before we do the other one, so. Raising our prisoner capacity to 15 is going to be really easy. All we have to do is this. And just round out this last cell block. Because that will actually raise our prisoner capacity to 20. And that will complete the grant. And actually, now that I think about it, why don't we intake some prisoners soon so we can round that out actually? Ah, yes. Forgot that putting a jail door here means that they're just gonna constantly, for some reason, try and come through the jail door instead of just using like a staff door or something. Ay, ay, ay. Sometimes the way that your little characters take in this game doesn't make a ton of sense. Oh, we are going to need some more guards soon-ish. We'll go up to five guards if we're going up to 20 prisoners. Just so we don't get like overwhelmed. And we'll also go up to four chefs. And we'll add... We'll add one more cooker. Just that, so that way we don't have a problem where we don't have enough food. Because that would suck. You're resting, you're just standing on top of a wall. Okay. Ses lave. Thank you for checking out the stream, by the way, the real plugger 48. I appreciate it very much. Always happy to see people in chat. 
Alright, so we're gonna need some objects here. We're gonna need a toilet and whatnot. So we'll just throw down these toilets here. Toilet, 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 and we're gonna need beds as well. Now I haven't actually ever made a dormitory 